Hey guys! Today I want to do a favorites video because the last one I did was back in February. So yeah, that's quite a while. But I didn't do a favorites video because A. I didn't have enough products or favorites to show you and B. I was really busy with school but now I'm almost out of school and I can make more videos and I'm really excited about that. But I'm more excited about the favorites that I'm about to show you because there are a lot of products that I've collected for the last couple of months and I can give you my honest opinions about them because I've tried them out for a longer time than a month. And yeah, let's start off with the skincare. So I want to start off with skincare because I have a lot of skincare products. Uh, because of my internship, I intern at a Sephora like store, so a lot of perfume, skincare. I thought that I should try some skincare out myself and I took really good care of my skin the last couple of months. But yeah, that's why I have a lot of skincare favorites to show you. And the first one is this uh, Nivea Clean Deeper Cleansing Scrub. And I used to use this back in high school. It was probably my first good skincare product because this took care of all the zits and imperfections and pimples and whatsoever. This did a great job back then and it does a great job right now. I use this in the shower to get all my makeup off, uh, well at least all my face makeup off. I take my eye makeup off right before I get into the shower because I don't like to have raccoon eyes when I get out of the shower with my waterproof makeup and stuff. I use this in the shower and I really like it. It's really fresh and it's not a very harsh scrub. It's a good everyday scrub to clean your face. Then another product that I use in the shower about once a week is this Freeman Facial Purifying Clay Mask with Acai. And I just got this in the clearest section of my drugstore. It was about two euro fifty for this big box, and I just wanted a face mask that I could use very regularly and didn't have to pay a lot for it. So I found this. And usually, I'm not really big on the whole clay mask thing. I just want a cream mask that's moisturizing, and I just want that. But this looked interesting to me because of all the fruit and it smells really fruity but it also has that really i don't know if you can see it but it's a, it's a light green face mask so it looks a little bit like the old hollywood face masks and i just wanted to try it because you can't go wrong with a face mask this big that's two euro fifty i think so i wanted to try it and i really enjoy it it's the first clay mask that doesn't break me out afterwards because it's uh, mattifying but also suits the skin but i have to use a moisturizer after i use this one because it's so mattifying to my face that i almost get the feeling that i that my skin is almost completely gone it's the funny thing about it is it does help with my zits but it doesn't break me out afterwards so i do enjoy this also because it's really fruity and it has let me see this rich clay mask enhances with ACE extract, purifies and suits the skin. It contains Mega 8 complex, a blend of Goi, Acai, pomegranate, mango, mangosteen, cranberry, noni and blueberry which are high in antioxidants to help neutralize skin damage, leaving the skin soft and revived, ideal for all skin types. That's a whole lot of fruit, but I really enjoyed it and especially for 2 euro 50 it's, it's a gem in my beauty stash right now. There has been this whole hype going around YouTube for a while now about the Bioderma cleansing waters and here in the Netherlands you can't find Bioderma. You have to order it online and I didn't want to go through all the hassle so I started looking for a cleansing water in the drugstore and I've heard very good things about this one. The Carnier Skin Naturals Micellaire Cleansing Water and I just wanted to try it and I really love it. I like it so much because it's very gentle for my face and it takes off every little bit of makeup. If I wanted to travel and I didn't want to bring my whole skincare routine, then I would bring this. It's really awesome because it's gentle for the face. It looks just like, well, it is a water, but, but this product really changed my skincare routine. I really enjoy this product just because it's more gentle than my tonic that I used to use from Nivea and I don't have redness anymore on my face it's calmed down my face so much 
it's really hard to get your hands on this product. I haven't seen this product yet in Germany. I've seen it at one store in the Netherlands. So if you can get your hands on this product, please do. You won't regret it. And it's about... I bought it for about 7 euros, but it's such a big bottle. You will take... It will take forever before you have this done. So it's a really great product and I can recommend this. But I really want to try out the Nivea Micellaire water and just explore a little bit more in the skincare world. So yeah, the Kanye Micellaire cleansing water. Now onto my body care favorites. And the first one isn't a typical beauty product that you would show in a favorites video, but this really helped me out. And it's the Dove Maximum Protection Deodorant. What I like about this is that it really keeps my armpits dry and doesn't make my sweat smell or... It's just an awesome product, especially since it saved me the other day. Because I took a shower and I wanted to go over to a friend's house, but I forgot to put on deodorant and it was a really hot day. And I didn't have any deodorant with me. So I was a little bit scared that I would smell really badly, but this stuff, this stuff made it possible for me to go without a deodorant for 24 hours. It, even if I didn't put on this stuff, my armpits would still be dry and that is what's so awesome about this product. But when you buy this product, the instruction says you have to use this at night, but that doesn't feel natural to me to put on deodorant right before you go to sleep. So I used this in the morning and it's really an awesome product and I like this scent because it's very fresh and not overpowering and it's just an awesome product. So if you want to try out the deodorant that's uh, really more targeted towards uh, making your armpits dry or letting your armpits stay dry, then use this deodorant. And then a product that I got in a mini size in my gift set from the Rituals Hem Hem line is the Hem Hem Body Mud. And you can use this product on your whole body as in fact you can use this on your face because it's also a face mask but what i like about this is that it really moisturizes and polishes your skin i use this uh, right after i shaved my legs and it says to that you have to leave it on there for about one to two minutes i don't like the scent let's clear that up i it's not really my type of scent because it's really fresh and it smells like a hemmen but in some kind of way I do like it. It's really weird for me to like a scent like this, but what I like about the product is that it's moisturizing but also polishes your skin. And my legs have never ever felt so soft after if I don't use this product because I just thought it was a little bit of a meh product at first, like it didn't do much for me, but after I used this for a couple of times I uh, felt that my skin got smoother and softer and I just I want to get a full size of this it's a really awesome product and yeah I hope that they make this in more sense than this one but if you want to get really smooth legs for summer then go get this product and then I have two fragrances that I've tried out the last couple of months and the first one is a scent that's a little bit more affordable than the next scent that I'm about to show you and it's the Taylor by Taylor Swift made of starlight and this is the scent that Taylor Swift came out with for the summer of 2014 and it's a limited edition and this scent just screams summer to me like it's a little bit uh, vanilla and a lot of peach and apricot I smell in it but it's a really fresh and fruity scent it's pretty long lasting because when I spray this on in the morning I still can smell this late in the afternoon so it's a really great scent but it also has a really cute packaging because it looks a little bit like a carousel but i haven't tried out the taylor by taylor swift scent i couldn't find that one but i really want to try out that scent as well and i just think it's a really cute and feminine packaging but i also liked the box that comes with it and I'm about to show you that box right now. Well, I got this scent in a sale because I went to Müller. That's a German drugstore and I got the whole musical box that came with it. Because the musical box was uh, €17.50 and it has a 15 milliliter in it. But you also had the 30 milliliter and that one cost €20. Euros. So 
It was crazy to not get the bigger size. So I got this one and it's a musical box that is very pink. And it has, just has Taylor by Taylor Swift on it. And in the back there's, there's Taylor Swift. But it's just a plain big pink box. But when you open it... Da da da! Let's put it in there, which is for the imagination. But it ha comes out with the music of uh, Starlight by Taylor Swift. And it's a really a collector's item. So I'm really glad that I could find this box because I've seen it on eBay for about hundreds of dollars. And I really wanted the scent because this scent is typical me. With the fruitiness and the freshness and it's not too overpowering. And I just love the scent. I love the musical box. And that's a scent that I've really enjoyed wearing the last couple of months. And then a scent that's a little bit on the pricier side, but I really wanted this one for a very long time. And it's a Marc Jacobs Daisy Oso Fresh perfume. And I got this perfume gifted, and this is just a really floral and feminine scent. Whenever I wear this, I just feel grown up if you know what i mean it's a really mature scent and this is the first scent that i just wanted so badly and just the packaging is uber cute and i really wanted to leave this on my dresser but that would ruin the scent so i'm just using this and keeping it in a dry and dark place but i really want to display this product after i use this up because it's such a pretty bottle and I really love the scent. And even though this perfume is an eau de toilette, the uh, perfume really lasts very long. It also reminds me a bit of fresh and clean clothes. Can't describe this very well, but it's a really awesome and mature scent. And now I want to talk a little bit about the non-beauty favorites, because I have quite a few. I wanted to, to get this tumbler cup for a very long time, because I've search for cups like this for a very long time i wanted to get a cup that i could take with me in the car and just sip on some kind of refreshment because i get very thirsty when i'm driving and when i'm traveling so i just wanted to get something that's very easy to use and just could put in my cup holder in the car i found this one and it really reminds me of just milkshake and Starbucks cups for some reason. I like that it also is double-sided so that it isolates the drink very nicely that it doesn't get hot in the car and just stays cold. And this product has been in great use since the first time I bought it. And I don't want to drink out of anything else right now because it's so easy to just sip on the straw. Like I said, I'm a very lazy person. So whenever I just want to get something, I don't want to use much effort for it. So like this, drink well in summer kids. And now I'm very full. So, and I want to talk about the TV show that has been canceled already, but I just started watching this a week ago and it's the secret life of the American teenager. I was always curious about it because it was on TV for so long. So it had to be good if you just want to make a TV show that's on TV for about five years. But the story is about a 15 year old girl, Shane Lee Woodley, that got pregnant on one night of band camp with this guy named Ricky. And let me say, Ricky, I, I just don't know what to think about him. He's a very messed up guy. Let me just say that, but in some kind of way they're all stereotypes, but not and the storyline is weak from time to time, but I still want to know what happens, even though some characters annoy me to death, like Shaylee Woodley's best friends, and they act like they're best friends, but at the other time they're like, oh, I don't want to have to deal with her anymore, I let, let me just drop her. I don't like her best friends, they're really annoying and they just come in randomly from time to time and I just don't like those characters. But I do like her with this love interest of her named Ben. I do like her with him, but 
I don't want to give away any spoilers, but there, there is this part in season one, which is the, just crazy. I don't want to know if this is even realistically possible. I'm talking about half of the season, but that's that's why I think the storyline is a little bit weak. But I still want to know what happens to the characters, and I've watched season one one in about a week. So that's how I addicted I am to it. But I really enjoy the TV show and I can't wait to see what happens next. But it also irritates me. Can you see how conflicted I am with this show? And then my favorite song of the last couple of months is The Cap Lock Me Up. Which is a very tough and a little bit more rocky and edgy song. But I thought that I found a really special song, a really unknown song and then I heard it on the radio. Story of my life. <laughs> but I really enjoy the song and I want to try and make a Spotify playlist for you so you can see what I've been liking for the last couple of months. So that was all I wanted to talk about for right now and I'm really glad that I could do another favorites video. So please forgive me if I don't upload a favorites video every month because I don't get to try out a lot of new products and I really want to be excited about all those products that I want to show you. So. Please forgive me if I don't upload another favorites video for about one or two months. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!